things that I often get asked, especially by beginners, uh, is how can I save data uh, to my disk, to my disk drive, uh, and so that the next time I run the program, I have access to it. And fortunately, using Python, there's a very, very simple way to do that. Now, there's, of course, there's many different ways to do that. You can write directly to a file. Um, you can use the DBM module and save it to a database. But for, again, for beginners, uh, there's something called the pickle module. And what that does is it takes some data, uh, pickles it, and we can save that to the disk and to a file. So let's get started. I'll show you how it's going to work. So since it's a module, uh, we need to import it. So it's import pickle, and this comes with Python, so it shouldn't be, you should have this. Then uh, just to clear the screen, I'm gonna import OS, so, cause I like to clear the screen. And on Mac or Linux, it's ossystem.clear. And if you're using Windows, it's os.system, uh, quotes with CLR, I believe. Okay, so what the pickle module lets us do is it lets us save a variable. Now that variable could be an integer, it could be a string, um, it could be a list, it could be a dictionary. Uh, I think it can even be a, a class instance. It's, it's pretty powerful. Um, so what we're gonna try today is we're gonna try to save a list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a list and, and uh, then that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a list of names and I'm gonna put three names on it. I'm gonna put Angus Young, I'm gonna put Malcolm Young, and I'm going to put Bon Scott from the legendary band ACDC. Okay, so I've created this list. Now I'm just going to print it out uh, so we have something to compare it to. And let's see here, print. Now here, this is going to be our original list because we're going to be changing it. And I'm going to print uh, names. Okay, so let's run that and see what we have so far. Okay, so you see we've got our original list, and we've got Angus, Malcolm, and Bond. So, what I want to do now is I want to change. I want to save that. So I'm going to save the list. Okay, and here's how we do that. We use the pickle module, the dump method. Okay, and first, the first attribute we've got to put here, or the first argument I should say, is we're going to it's going to be the name of the variable we want to save. So in this case, we're going to save names. And then we have to tell it which file to save it to. So I'm going to say open quotes. And I got to give the file a name. So I'm just going to call it names.dat. I don't have to use call it names. I don't have to use .dat. But to me, it just kind of makes sense. Okay. And then I have to tell it I'm writing in binary mode. So that is the command. And make sure you have matching parentheses for both sides. And what that will do is it will save the list to the disk. So just trust me on that one. <laughs> so if I run it, let's make sure we don't have any errors. Okay, so the list has now been saved. Now let's test that. So let's change the list. And to change it, I'm going to remove Bon Scott since he sadly passed away. Uh, many many years ago, and then I'm gonna again. I'm just gonna print the list so we can see the changes, just to verify that the list has been changed. So I'm gonna run that again. Okay, so we got the original list, and now the list is missing Bon Scott, but since we saved it on the disk in this line, that means we can load it from the disk. So I'm going to load the saved data. Oops, not Dave data, saved data. Okay, now since we're loading, we have to put that data into a variable. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the same variable, names equals, again, it's the pickle module, the load method. And basically I just have to tell it which file to open. So open, names.dat, because that's what we called it. So we get names.dat, comma. And in this case, we're not writing a binary file, we're reading a binary file. So we use rb. So then, go ahead, we're gonna print the list again, and this should give us the original list. Okay, so let's test it. Okay, very good. So we have the original list here. Okay, we printed it. We removed, we saved it, then we removed 
uh, Bon Scott. And that's what we got here. So we take a look at that. And then what we did was we loaded the list back into memory. And you can see that we have the original list back because that's what we saved. Okay, so to review, um, the pickle module is very, very simple to use. You probably don't want to use it for large amounts of data, but for smaller things like this, it works very, very well. And something like a high score table or, or something along those lines or a counter would work really well. So you need to import the pickle module. Then you need to dump the variable name into whatever file you want. You give it, give it a name that you, know, you can remember or that makes sense. And then when you're ready to load it, you would assign that to a variable because it's going to return that information. So you use the load method. And you need to use the same name that you use when you saved it. So right up here, write binary, and down here it would be read binary. And that is that.